Hello, my name is Hannah Talton, and I am a graduate student pursuing my Doctor of Plant Medicine degree at the University of Florida. Today, I will be talking to you about some preliminary cut flower diagnosis and maintenance of your home floral arrangements. So what do you do with your bouquet of flowers after its special occasion? Today, we're going to talk about how to keep your plants alive, how to diagnose what you see within your bouquet of flowers and determine why some of the flowers are still alive and beautiful, but we have some that are yellowing and dying right next to each other. So my name is Hannah Talton and I will be diagnosing what could be the issue with this bouquet. So if you are looking at your flowers, of course, time takes a toll. Um, but also, how are you watering your cut flowers? That can make a difference. So this particular arrangement came with a sponge with all of the particular flowers cut into them, well, put into them. This is showing me that this leatherly fern has an overwatering or waterlogged symptom. It is currently too moist for this fern to stay green. The carnations look beautiful. They are perfectly watered, have the right amount of water needed to survive. So do the baby's breath. Our roses, on the other hand, may also be waterlogged. Let's take a look. So I have one of the roses here and yes, this is a sign of too much water. Stems are turning brown and black. They're too much, it's too much water being soaked up into the stem and it's turning the rose black. The ferns on the other hand, have this yellowing in the veins. It's not getting enough sunlight as well as it being waterlogged. Too much water in a fern can show these symptoms, yellowing and brown tips. Our carnations also, some are showing signs of wilt and yellowing due to overwatering. This here is gray mold, botrytis, starting to grow on our carnation stems because it's the ideal environment for this pathogen to persist and it's killing our cut flowers. So thank you for tuning in today. If you have a beautiful bouquet of of flowers and you are trying to determine what's going on with them, maybe switching them to a bigger vase and not providing the sponge will allow you to control the amount of water you are using for your flowers. Thank you.